It's, it's been really, really fun to see the competition throughout the room, you know, even with, with Will and Bryce and the guys that's pushing them, you know, knowing that nothing's always just given, you know. So we're always going to compete our butts off. That third spot has really, really got a few guys coming along very, very well. I think Vinny Anthony has put himself in a position to really, really take off and, and probably take over the spot right now, if I had to say something. But, um, I mean, you guys, guys like Quincy and CJ and Tyrell Henry coming in and doing a really good job. And, and uh, you just, it's, it's quite a few names that you can bring up right now that are really giving themselves a shot to, to step in there and have a chance to be that next guy. What have you seen from Vinny that allows you to say that? Man, really just consistent. Just, I mean, very consistent play. Um, anything that I've told him he needs to work on, he does it and gets it fixed the next rep, not even the next day. I mean, it's the next rep. Um, I think he's playing as fast as he's played in his career. Um, I'm able to say that because I've watched it all, you know. Um, I know I probably wasn't here, but I've watched him, anything that he's done in the past, and he's, I think he's just playing so fast and, and confident right now that he's being very consistent. You mean, obviously, you're a new guy here. When, when you move to a new place, what's your process for getting to – getting to have a feel for what you've got to work with before you even hit the practice. Oh, yeah. I mean, I probably watched the season about five times before we ever even got to spring ball. So um, you meet with the guys, you know, you have them come up to your office, talk to them and fill them out. And I, I love those kind of things because you kind of get a chance to feel what type of coaching kids need, okay. you know, not kids, young men, you know, but um, I always think that I, I tell my guys all the time, I don't coach everyone the same. You know, um, if I coach Tretch the same way I coach Bryson Green, I'm probably shorting some, somebody somewhere. And so um, I like to know what gets to them, what, what is something that gets them, um, you know, ready to roll, whatever it is. Just if I, if I can help out in any kind of manner by just getting to know the guy, the person themselves and not the athlete, then I'm going to do that. The next step is, honestly, it's leadership, bringing people along with him, you know, and I think that's what he's done a great job of throughout the time that I've been here since January. Um, he's always upstairs. Um, I told him he ought to be on the payroll for, for us because he's always upstairs and uh, just working and, and wanting the, the next step, you know, and that's what's something that we talked about big time, and I thought he's done a really good job of that throughout the spring, bringing along a Cayenne, you know, um, Barry Johnson, the guy that's walking here, and a senior in high school, he's, he's really been a, a really good help for him. There was a lot of discussion before last season about hoping to play six guys at wide receiver. I think the number ended up being five. Um, every coach probably wants to play as many guys as possible, oh, yeah. and they have to earn it. Yep. But in your mind, what is realistic um, to get all these guys opportunities and how many uh, yeah. have earned that opportunity? Yeah, um, that's the best part about it all right now. You know, I walk in and um, – you want to see guys take that next step and like a CJ and Quincy and Vinny and the guys, you know, that probably hadn't had a chance to really be the guy yet. You want to see them take that next step. And I think they're doing a great job of that. And, and I, just, I tell them all the time, it's just being consistent, being consistently really good. And that's what it's all about. That's how greatness comes about. Um, I love that Coach Fix preaches that as well. And um, right now it's, it's, it's a number of guys that we're going to have to – really be detailed and have a good plan for these guys to get in because it's it's I think some guys have stepped up and given themselves a chance to go in there and be ready for when the lights come on. It's been impossible, it's been impossible to ignore what Tretch did this spring. Um, Phil Longo said that the, his competitiveness really stands out. What are some other things that stand out for you? Oh man I can go all day about that guy man. He's just um, his business mentality. You know everything about him is, is straightforward. There's no gray area. It's black and white and hey this is what it is and and um, I, I just love his morale of his business mentality. And I think it bleeds off on other guys because he's the type that when he gets on that field, he's not worried about anything else, what's going on in his life, in the world. At that moment, it's all about the ball. And that's what he, that's what he loves and, and <laughs> it shows. What about physically, though? If you were a DB trying to cover him, what would scare you about him if you're lined up on him one-on-one? -on -one? Quickness and speed. I mean, he's he's... He's one of those guys in a phone booth you can't get hands on, you know. So, um, like I say, I coach guys differently. I'm a big contact, create separation kind of guy, right? Like, I want a guy to be hip to hip and throw him by. Different things that we can go into details on. Tretch, I tell him to run circles around guys, <laughs> you know. Um, he's so fast and so twitchy and really good in the phone booth that you don't want guys to be able to have a chance to grab him. You mentioned you watched last season's games five times to get a good idea of these guys. Do you feel like... 
based on what you saw and what you've seen this spring, this group has an opportunity to be a lot more consistently productive. Uh, wide group agreed. I mean, that's all I preach. That's all I preach. Um, obviously, staying healthy is, is big and, and um, just consistently being really, really good, right? Like consistently being on the same page with the quarterback. Um, him having to trust in us that we're going to be in our spots, right? Um, and it's just a lot that go into that umbrella. And so um, that's probably the number one word that I've used throughout spring is consistency. With Tretch, Phil, um, Phil mentioned in his competitive, as he first mentioned, you know, that Tretch has some things to work on too, but just what are some of those things to, you know, continue to grow in? Yeah, the, 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 I think he's growing on it a lot, but the knowledge of the game, right? He's still young, you know, he's still young. The, he doesn't have the experience you would love for him to have yet, but um, just the knowledge of the game and that experience will, it'll bring that to him to where um, he's playing more off of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, instinct, right? He's playing more off of instinct and rather than thinking, which he does a really good job at it, and I think it can even be better, which we're working it now. You mentioned Quincy briefly. Mm -hmm. It's obvious he has some additional size over some of the other guys. So what does it take for him to kind of step into a more prominent role this season to make utilize his, his advantages? Size yeah, size? I love it. Um, it's the main word we've been talking about, consistency. That's it. That's it. You know, um, he's, he's a really powerful guy. You know, like you say, he's bigger. Um, he can run really well. I mean, he's probably one of the fastest in the room at that size. And so... When you have that, that comes with a lot of power. And so just being consistent. And I got to work his wind right now, you know, uh, making sure he can go play after play after play because it's easy to see when, and when um, he gets tired, you know. What intrigues you about some of the combinations that you can throw out there, especially, say, like Will and Tretch? Heck, yeah. On the field the same Heck, yeah. Um, the headaches that they'll give a D coordinator. That's, that's what uh, excites me about those guys right now. Um, I think the variety that we have in the room right now, we're using very, very well, and especially with the other position rooms that we got as well, where, I mean, there's some playmakers on the field at all times and, and with all the eligibles. And then you got, obviously, I mean, you know Wisconsin going to have some linemen. So I just think it's, it'll give headaches to the guys trying to game plan. And so, like I said, I, I have to be really good having a plan strategically to get these guys in the, in the game and giving them their opportunities. Do you think Bryson Green has the capability to be an effective red zone threat. I'm talking about like when you're really close to the goal line, the ability to maybe go up over people, catch contested balls. 100%. I talk to him about it all the time. That's his, that, I think that's his game. Okay. You know, he's a big physical guy. And I've told him that since day one. Going back and watching the season, I love how he, do, he does whatever it takes to get open at the top of a route. You know, physicality, whether that's um, having great feet, um, great hips, um, and, and just no matter what, playing physical, as physical as he can to Create that little separation. What, going back to Kyan, I mentioned what Will has done, but just you mentioned he should be a high school senior, and we've seen him get some second and third team reps over yeah. the course of spring. Just how is, what have you seen from him early on in his adjustment to the college? Yes. Game? Kai is really fun to coach. I mean, he is really fun to coach. He has a great personality, and you know, uh, uh, he, I thought he hit a certain level of maturity when coming back from spring break to where he, you can start seeing the strides in his game. You know, um, I tell him all the time, if he, if he ever learns to play with a little bit better pad level, he will be really good. So I can't wait for him to see this. I'm telling the world, Kai. What did you identify <laughs> in, in CJ's game when you watched yes. about where he could grow? Yes. Um, CJ, I, I talk to him a lot about this, his, his pad level as well, just playing a lower, because he's, he's put on some weight now. I mean, you can see it. Um, He's, he's more physical now, and I, I talked to him about using that physicality, kind of like a Bryson, right? Um, being very physical, opening his stride lengths, and, and just consistently making the play. Consistently making the play, because he's, he's there and he can do it. Do you worry about keeping all these guys happy? You said it's your job to figure out how oh, to yeah. them, but... I know. mean, I see any wide out room. I, we'll be okay. Wins keep everybody happy, so let's go win. <laughs> we hear the offensive line said get the best five on the field. With wide receivers, is that... The same thing, or does body touch kind of limit where certain guys can go? Oh, I don't think so. I think um, you know what guys are good at, and you try to – you know what guys' strengths are, right? Like everybody has something a little different. Like I said, Tretch is a really phone booth guy where Will can really stretch the field and make you miss and things. They, I mean, they have a lot of similarities. and um, But there's certain things that you know, like, hey, this play-wise, I, I would love to try to get this play for this guy because – 
that's his strength. That's what he does. So I don't think so. I don't think it's hard at all. You just, like I say, you got to be really good with the, with the plan. In that sense, when you're looking at combinations, do you maybe look to have guys that complement each other well? Or what's kind of your plan when trying to get three, four receivers? Oh, for sure. That's exactly what I'm looking at as well. Um, the combinations of guys, obviously, um, for sure, but also just the best, getting the best out there, you know. At, at the end of the day, there's still that component of who's the best, man, and the best is going to play. Do you work for Coach with the, um, with, you know, you already said that Will Paul and Bryson Green, those are their kind of sense down the starters. You know, speaking to balance, what kind of traits are you looking for in the other perimeter receiver without mm. saying where it's crazy, man. I, I hate that I keep doing this, but it's consistency, man. I mean, it, it really is, dude. It's like everybody has a little different style to them, which I love that in the wide eye room. I never want just the same across the board. Um, so everybody has that little different variety to them, which is good in their own ways, you know. And, and obviously, we're going to try to make the weaknesses good, make the good great. And um, just the most consistent guys, you know, the most consistent guys that's going out and making the play. One thing we don't do is we don't say almost. You know, in the room, we don't say almost, we don't say, oh, that was close, things of that nature. It's either we got it done or we didn't. And we, we, we're going to really take the ownership of that and understand that the best ones are going to get the majority of that. Just with uh, Vinny, I mean, we've also seen him working on the slot. Does he provide that? Like, do you feel that you could use him oh, yeah. both? And, and will you, do you feel like Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I try to. I, I tried to as well because I, I knew he started that slot um, in his career, first off in his career, and then moved to outside. So, um, you know, you just try to create depth in so many different ways as you can because you never know what happens in the middle of a season and things of that nature. And he's just a guy that's easily able to make that transition back and forth. Um, I've actually started doing it with CJ as well. Um, he actually did a pretty good job at it throughout the spring. And so, yeah, just trying to get as many different combinations to look at and make sure that we got guys that can step up and be ready to roll just in case anything ever happened in the middle of a season. Coach, just one more, just, you know, the Big Ten is transitioning and you're kind of seeing this in real time too. How are you preparing these guys and, you know, what you're learning about, you know, what Big Ten football is going to look like this yeah, season? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, honestly, I, I'm preparing the guys for – Right now, for us, to, we're worried about us, right? Getting better spring ball like us. Let's work on us. Our consistency, our power of the unit, and everything is about us right now. So, you know, I think we'll worry more about what the Big Ten will look like as we come more into fall camp and things of that nature. But, um, I mean, I, I love the opportunities that it's creating, and I think it's going to be nothing but a bunch of ball of fun. Kenny, uh, you used the word consistency once or twice today. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, it's my overview that I preach to the room, period. And um, honestly, if I said consistency with him, it's probably about his leadership. Like, I want him to be con a consistent leader for the room and Bryson as well to understand, like, hey, guys are looking at you, right? You, when you get in that role that everyone wants, everybody's watching you at that moment. And like I said, I just think they both have done a great job. And I, I'll give a shout out to my guy Hawk as well. I mean, he is a guy that does everything. I mean, everything that you ask him to do, and, and he stepped up, and I think his leadership part of it as well is, is really good. So throughout the room, I'm very, very excited about the leadership that we have, and, and when you say consistency for Will, I'm always preaching it for any athlete. I mean, it's sports, right? You're going to win some. Um, we don't really talk about the other word, but um, when, when bad does happen, I'm going to coach him to get back and be the consistent Will that we know.